Hello and welcome. Uh, thanks for joining me for a, a quick preview into Always Some, Sometimes Monsters. Uh, so this has been out for a few years from what I understand. Uh, produced by an indie publisher and has won a number of awards. Everything from Best uh, Indie Game uh, to Best Writing. Now, it appears to have um, some interesting aspects to it, both in terms of, it kind of follows like this choose your own path almost, uh, allowing you to swap characters, uh, gender, even sexuality, uh, and how the other uh, NPCs interact with you uh, really kind of changes the path that you're going to take. Uh, pretty non-linear. Uh, I'm just going to read you the quick intro before I get into it. Out of money and out of luck, you find yourself heartbroken and on the verge of collapse. Your landlord's taken the key back, you can't finish your manuscript, and your beloved is marrying someone else. With no choice but to handle whatever life throws at you, you set out on the open road on a mission to win back the love of your life. The story from there is up to you. Can your life be salvaged? Or are we always sometimes monsters? So, story-driven, focus on relationships, emotional bonds, rather than traditional RPG combat and adventuring. So that's what makes it interesting. Uh, it does have some adult content, a little bit of salty language. Uh, so, heads up warning to any youths or delicate, tender ears out there. And let's jump in. Where the hell do you think you're running off to without me? I'm the boss, so you don't make a move until I tell you what to do. Got it? He's not very nice, hey? I thought I told you already. Once I'm paid, then we're through. I don't need you controlling me anymore. This sounds kind of like a parent-child situation, actually. No, you ain't finished working yet. There's plenty of people I still need killed. Oh, vicious. You don't get a say in anything until I decide you're done spilling blood. You know, I don't think I'd be ordering a hitman out around. You check that privilege at the door when you signed up for this job. Here I make the rules, here I decide what happens. That's what you signed up for, right? Look, if it's more money you want, all you gotta do is ask for it. Name your price, I'll pay it. Hmm. Whatever it takes to knock some sense back into your head. I don't want any more of your money. I already have more than I need. Why can't you understand why someone might not want to do this anymore? Makes sense to me. Alright, I'll play ball. How do I convince you not to make a very stupid decision right now? What do I want? I want my goddamn freedom back. No more telling me what to do, where to go, who to kill. I'm deciding for myself from now on. Not the most original dialogue, but it gets the point across. Come on, and quit playing around. You won't last a minute without me. Some uh, emotional manipulation there. Alright. So let's have a quick look around. Nothing in the dumpsters. Hey! What did I just tell you? You ain't going anywhere unless I say so. Well, I'm trying to. I'm telling you, you're making a mistake. Don't do something we'll all regret. Uh-oh, who's that? Excuse me, sirs. Got a minute? Or a dollar? Hard times all around. Uh, smelly vagabond fuck. Get the hell out of my way. We don't have anything for you. Oh, I've heard that one before. Probably from you, too. Different day, different street. 
Who knows? Maybe we used to know each other. Hey, can you imagine that? Winding up back here again? What? Goddamn schizo. Are you fucked in the head? Hmm. That's not very nice. Get the hell out of my way. Right. We gotta keep things moving along. Before you go, though, there's something I think you ought to take a look at. What the hell is this? Well, you might say, I've been expecting you. So, this is where I start having a dilemma with this kind of game. You know, I don't play games like Grand Theft Auto purely for the reason that I disagree with pretty much everything it's about. I don't like swearing a whole lot myself, uh, calling people names, abusive behavior, theft, drugs, killing. So, right now I'm, you know, what, five minutes in? Uh, I've objected to a lot already. I'm going to keep going though because I'm really curious. This game has won a lot of wooden awards. I want to see where it goes, but, um, you know, not what I want. Does it feel familiar standing on this end of the barrel? Oh. Or do you feel more comfortable with your own piece drawn? Go ahead. I'll wait. They've got some history, I'm guessing. That's right. Aim it right between my eyes. What the hell do you want, you nut job? What do I want? I like playing games, don't you? What do you say to giving mine a spin? I don't know what this fool's smoking, but if he doesn't put that gun down right now, you put a hole in his head. I'm getting bossy again. Of course, you can hurry this along if you like, and maybe we can all be done with it if you wish. Like any of this matters, anyway. Okay, getting a little nihilistic. I want to tell you a story, though. One about the many choices we all make. At the end of it, you can decide what to do. The only rule in the game? Let me finish. No interruptions. Then the choice is yours. Or, we can pull the trigger right now. Sounds a lot less time-consuming, doesn't it? Either way. The choice is always yours. Well, I'm guessing this is the premise of the introduction to the game. If we shoot, it kinda ends right there, so we listen. If you won't put that gun down, fine. Talk fast. My patience is thin. There are many roads between yours and mine, but all roads start from the source. You ever been dragged to a party by someone? What if that party was life itself? Led by the nose, barely wanting to take part in it? This is a bit noir, hey? Did you even have the choice not to go? It would take something miraculous to change you. But would you know the opportunity when it knocked? Mm, that's a good question. I don't know if everyone recognizes opportunity in the moment. There's a lot of people there. A little crowded. Fairweather friends are sometimes hard to sort. A man with opportunity to spare knows this best. One such man of opportunity threw a party. He was looking for some, someone special, important, not a lover, not a friend. He was looking for someone of substance. Whether it was the right choice or not, that's still up for debate. That night, they toasted ambition, success, and more. Little did they know how steep the mountain was. Huh? So is that okay? So that's my character. I've walked in. Looks like I'm entering through the bedroom. Do I get to have a look around? You know, because if I'm going to object to the language and the violence, I'm going to at least snoop. Come on, hurry up. Or did you change your mind? You can't invite all these people over and just leave me to take care of them, Larry. Okay, I'm Larry. They're all weird. I'm a little judgy. Why can't you have normal friends? Well, what's normal? They're all work friends. Writers, artists, wannabes. Mm. You know, like the one I was telling you about. Boss wants me to sign someone by next week, but I still haven't got a clue what I'm looking for. Well, just pick someone who's going to do a good job. 
I don't want you to get fired over some fuck up. This apartment's way too nice for that. No, I don't like her. Yeah, okay. I love you too. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't like her either. What's that? Feed the fish. Sure. Great party, Larry. Really glad I could make it. Well, I'm glad you're here too. Did I tell you about this red wine I found? Give me a second. I'll go get some for you. We can toast. It'll be great. The wife says I can't have more than one tonight. Then again, I'm a sucker for a good vintage. Yeah, but I've still got all these people to talk to, so maybe later. Gotta see who else is here. Plus, I kinda hate red wine. Hey, hipster. Congratulations on the new job. <clears throat> Thanks, it's been a long time coming. Well earned, though. What do you say to toasting? I've got this gin I want to polish off. Taking it easy tonight. Only one drink. Gin does sound like a good choice, though. But, well, let's pass for now. Hey, kitty. Nice kitty. Hey, happy birthday. Other than the new job, you get anything else? Anything from the wife? Do lectures count? Yeah. They might be a little rocky, eh? Don't bother me with that. Live it up! I've got this bottle of bourbon we could toast. I'm only allowed one drink tonight. Perhaps bourbon could be it. I'm gonna continue to pass. Still meeting the folks. Who's your friend? That food from earlier. Where did you get it? You'd have to ask Belinda. I have no idea. She sets up this party. She may blame me for the party, but she took care of it. You're really lucky to have her. Uh, I think that's up for debate. We should toast and celebrate the night. Brought a bottle of tequila. Well, I do like a good Patron. But, I'm going to hold off. For now. Meow. Meow. Happy birthday, pal. How old are you now, anyway? I prefer not to check. Yeah, you and me both. Well then, let's toast to ignorance. Uh, no thanks. Not a beer fan. Continuing on. Hello there. How's your evening going? Oh, Larry. Happy birthday, man. Thank you. Is your night alright? Yeah, great party. Just sipping on this bottle of brandy. Ugh, gross. No thanks. Excuse being used. Carrying on. Hi there. You're welcome. It's been too long since we've caught up. Hopefully next time it won't be so long. Well, while I've got your attention, I've got this bottle of scotch. Wanna help? Well, that is tempting too, but going to continue to say no. I may be back later. Hey, handsome. What's happening? It's all good. Just enjoying the party. Right on, let's celebrate. I've got this vodka we can toast. Yeah, no. But let's talk later, okay? We'll catch up. Oh, Larry, great apartment. Thanks. Yeah, the wife picked it out. Apparently, she picks everything out. I, however, do like your hoodie. She's doing well. We should toast to her health. I brought this rum for you. Um, no. As much as I like the idea, I'm gonna go mingle some more. Thanks anyway. Hey, Larry. So you got a cat running around here like it owns the place. Well, don't they all? I mean, really, we're just possessions of the cat. How come you told me I couldn't bring my dog? Probably because your dog is going to try to eat my cat. Firstly, I have no idea whose cat it is. <laughs> and secondly, last time you brought your dogs around, they cornered me and wouldn't stop barking until you fed them donuts. Well, seriously, dude. They need some manners. Don't worry. They used to hate me, too. It's because they don't like assholes, Justin. Oh, Justin. I think they can just smell your fear. I don't know. 
Hey, Justin. Okay. Dude, he's not gonna like it. Are you guys talking about that game thing again? All we want to know is if you'd ever play a game where you might not wind up being the hero. Yeah? A game where I might not be the hero. Yeah, why not? No, I don't think so. Well, it depends. You guys are weird. Yeah, why not? I'm up for a challenge. See? I told you, people would love it. Well, I don't know if they'd love it, but I think they'd be interested. Oh, that's just one opinion. Plus, Larry doesn't count. What? That's demeaning. No offense. You know, when people say no offense after being offensive, they're just trying to wave off how rude they are. It's not an excuse. When people say no offense, I take offense. None taken? Pfft. Yeah, there's definitely sarcasm in that one. Happy birthday, dude. Hey, you're cute. I like the shirt. Hope you don't mind, I brought you a gift. That's really kind of you. Absinthe. Oh, no. No. Even if it's imported, no, you keep it. Only having one. Never had real absinthe before. Let's say later. Gotta see who else is here. Hey man, good to see you. The party is pretty packed. You don't say. Why don't you take a second and toast? Got this bottle of whiskey. I'm not drinking much tonight. Only one. Good wh whiskey though. Later. Okay, Justin, this fella. I don't know. Like, I'm guessing that there's a premise behind everybody trying to get me to drink. They're not trying to roofie me, are they? Hey, you're the host of this party, right? Yeah, I am. Do I know you? Can I get you anything? Well, I was wondering if you had any unoccupied bedrooms around here. Uh, ew and no. I don't think so. Why? No, definitely not. Oh, never mind. Dark F's brought his ban anyway. Hmm. She's a bit sketchy. And I have a dislike for her sunglasses. Great. Uh, have fun? As in get out? Anything out there? Patio later, right now, I need to mingle. Okay. Uh, yep. Let's toast to ignorance, a couple beer. Oh yeah, I was gonna say no to the beer. Not a beer fan, really not. Uh, in which case, hey handsome, nice shirt. Absinthe is disgusting, but I'll share a little company. Let's do it. Give me a second to run to the patio. There's someone I want you to meet. Always happy to meet the ball and chain. Don't go anywhere, Larry. I'll be right back from the patio before you know it. Oh, this is it. Okay. Now I'm playing him. I wonder if dialogue's changed then. Monsters in my closet? Ugh, okay, that's terrible. Naming things is hard. That's yeah, true. The Littlest Hobo Part 2? I doubt we could get the licensing. These names are terrible. Yeah, don't go with that. Tonight's gonna be fantastic. I can just feel it. I'll wait right here for you, alright? Don't leave me hanging, though. Don't worry, I'll be back soon. Good to see you. Life's treating you well? Yeah, it's been great, Vince. Just writing that book and other stuff. Tonight's party night, though. So none of that talk. I'll speak with you in a bit, alright? Hey, you still dating your little hottie? You two are such a nice couple. Yeah, Kevin. Still together. In fact, that's who I'm looking for now. I'll talk to you later. Well, look who decided to show up. Haven't seen you in forever. Sorry, I haven't been around, Dave. Just been busy, I guess. I'll catch you later, though. 
Gotta go to the patio. Pretty cool party, yeah? Hey, Donovan. Yeah, I guess you could say that. I gotta duck out to the patio. Be back soon. Can't complain. Just gotta head out. Find my anchor. Yeah, I kind of like that better than ball and chain. Ball and chain has always sounded offensive to me. Anchor, while serving a similar purpose, I don't know. This sounds like more grounding. It's new. Not much. Just living and stuff. You know, general terms. Not answering. Some cool people coming. I can make it. Likewise. Always nice to see you. Yep, that's me. Nice to meet you. He mentioned me, huh? Well, that's good. I think he's cute, too. With my friend? Yeah, my buddy Sam. He told you all that? I'd love to show Larry an outline. Think you've got a minute or two tonight? You don't want the minute. You want the contract. And a snuggle. Be upfront about it, and you'll get further. No harm in asking. Can't complain. What's cracking? I don't know. I don't want anything to be cracking. Oh, hey, Joel. Couldn't be better. Okay, I think I've got all that covered. Was there anything in here I needed to look at? You know, since I'm uh, Snoopy Pants? Nope. Oh yeah. Hey kitty. Meow. Hey, did you get a chance to talk to Larry yet? Yeah, I just spoke to him. He's waiting on me. Oh, interesting. So I guess this is where I decide who my other half is. So if it's me, I continue on. And if it's us, that's the person I'm choosing to be my anchor. Nice. Okay. So I'm going to continue on. Um, looks like there's a lot of people to talk to, and I would probably continue to talk to everyone. Um, partly because I want to see if there's any clues I need to pick up, but also I'm, I'm just really curious about this experience and how it would change character to character. Uh, and the fact that, like, based on who I'm playing, it's going to change those interactions. Really curious to see where this goes to. Uh, looks like there's a number of different openings uh, along the path. Uh, so I'm going to put this on my replay. Uh, I'm going to play it again. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, if you liked what you saw, please give me a like. And please, subscribe for more content. I'll be posting more. Have a great day.